Tom Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're in Illinois in the northern suburbs, and I'm with John Bernardi, and John has, well, a muscular muscle car today. John, what did you bring today? I've got a 1970 Cornette RT convertible 440U coat. <laughs> and I think you'll enjoy this one because uh, this one's the triple black version, as you can see. John, come right alongside me. So how long have you had this one? This one came in at the end of March this year. So a new car for you. Yes. And how did you feel when you got this one? Felt like it was a lifetime achievement award. I've been collecting cars since I was 16 years old and um, in about 40 years and this is it. I've had over a thousand cars and this one really, really did it. This is the one. The one. The black on black on black. <laughs> well, you can see the RT badge right there, the B-wing headlights, the hood scoop, wonderful, and we've got the sun right on it just right where you can see the red, what do they call these Rally 500s or something? Or These are the Rally, um, these are not the Magnum 500, these are just the Rally wheels. Rally Road wheels. wheels I'm sorry. Road wheels. And come on back, this car has that nice RT piece right there. Really sets that Coke model off just right. That design. Let me feature that. What matter of fact, while I'm here, we're gonna take a moment and show you what this one looks like with the top up. So I wanted to show you the car with the top up. And we'll take a quick walk around so you can see that. <laughs> That's just glorious. And we'll show it to you from the back. Like so. John, let's take the top down on this one. We'll show them how that comes down. This is a power top, right? Yes, sir. Yep, great. Very smooth. And we'll go back and we're back so as I get closer to the car this piece here is just wonderful how they did I know it's a faux scoop but it really sets off anybody on the side of you knowing that you've got a race coming up and then that tail and we'll turn it around for you so you can see the tail in the sunlight and we'll show the interior as well when we turn around. But right now, let's feature the motor since we've got this in the sun. So you said you've had all these cars, John. What made this one the car so special for you? Any triple black convertible in any make of car is the, the elusive car. You'll have black, black tops with white interiors or black white tops black over red interiors but to get the triple black convertible in a pedigree muscle car is kind of unheard of they have a mystique of their own interesting how the manifold comes up on that side as you could see i like even how it's got all of the right pieces right like so well let's fire it up shall we I see we've got the hood there. Got a, got a nice little shake there. John, can you step on the brakes just so we can see those tail lights for a second? for just a second. You can see that bumper's got a little 
shape to it, just idling. Go ahead, give it a rev. One more good one. Put the baby to sleep on that noise. Wonderful. We'll turn it around for you. So we've turned this car around, and I have to tell you, I love the back end look on this car. Clearly, the piece that I love the most is that RT badge. It just really stands out. It stands out so much, it almost looks like you've put it on. The 440 gun so to speak. John, let's take a look. We've got some trunk and treats. And I love that red bumblebee stripe. Okay. Now notice we've got the Dodge Coronet. And the reason why I share that with you is you won't see the word Coronet anywhere on this vehicle, which is really unique. Here's your sheet for the car. Notice Dodge Coronet. There's the order of new. Here's the build sheet. I wonder if this is found in the back seat. And here as well. I'll put that in. So for those of you who are knowledgeable enough to decode you can take your time and go from there to see this one in the operator's manual all good things there condition on this car is tremendous just tremendous John let's uh, close that can we go to the interior For sure. Love the boot, thank you. Now a couple things too. Notice the wood grain. So that would indicate that this is an SE, the special edition, is that correct? That's what I was told. It's coated on the build sheets. Uh, the rally gauge package had to be ordered on this car. Even though it's an RT, you still had to order your bucket seats, um, rally steering wheel. Let's show them those. This interior is original, with exception of the carpet I noticed was replaced. It has the original top still in place. <laughs> this is a great one. The tick tac tock or some of the tick tock tack, I believe they call that. Yes, sir. So, John, tell me, why did you have to have this car? I mean, from a muscle car standpoint, what, what makes this car so special for you versus the other cars you've had? I've always been a convertible guy. Um, I've had stage one convertibles, W30 convertibles, um, and the car before this was a 70 Challenger convertible, a uh, special handling car in the build sheet. It was a red on red car. I had to get rid of that to get this one. Um, but again, the triple black convertible form is just the most elusive muscle car to get in any make. So when this car came about that I could get it, I put a hold sticker on it without even knowing the price <laughs> and did what I had to do to get it. There you go. And I absolutely love this car. Drives like day one. Um, I just, uh, I'm a driver. I put six, 7,000 miles a year on my cars. I take them out every day it's like today, so yeah, I know what I'm doing later. Let's take this for a ride. For sure.
that make you feel? How does it, uh, what's the reaction that you've had now, now that you've had the car for a little while? Like I just want to keep driving. Like, <laughs> I don't want to put it away. What's people's reaction when they see it? Uh, people, they don't even know that they built an RT convertible. Is that right? Yeah, I've had so many people come up and say, what kind of cars is you thought it was a Charger convertible or something? Because you can't read anything that tells you it's a Cornette. Yeah. And uh, I said, no, they never built a Charger convertible. And they kind of asked me and I try to make them guess what it is. Yeah. And nobody can figure it out. And they think it's a Super P convertible. So they never built any of those. It's a lot of fun. What a super cool car, right? Uh, I could see why you uh, said, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> I meant to turn. <laughs> well, John, what a fun time. We'll keep cruising a little bit. Thanks so much for sharing your car. Thanks for being on the channel. Thanks for being on my car store. Love it. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure.